I know. And they want to tell people, tell their neighbors, this is wrong. This, you're being lied to. This is crazy, right? So they don't have any way to do that in Chinese society. The second you go out, you know, people are going to Tiananmen Square and holding a banner. You're thrown in a jail and you may never be seen again. Mm -hmm. So you really have no way to influence. So the way that, you know, even to this day in China, people get the word out is they, 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 you know, they might post something on a wall. They might spray paint a wall. They might drop flyers at a door, you know, they're printing stuff out on home computers and dropping it door to door like leaflets or flying balloons in the air that, you know, have messages. It's very, very grassroots, very, um, you know, oppressive um, environment that they live in. And so this obviously doesn't have an effect on a large group of people because it's very hard, right, to, to pass out millions of flyers, for instance, without getting caught and thrown in jail. And so in 2002, you know, it was so dire and, and people were losing their life and people were being lied to that Liu Chenjing and five other core people decided they wanted to get the message out that the self-immolation was a lie and that Falun Gong was good and it was being practiced all over the world. Like mm -hmm. China should be proud. This was this thing that spread from China. It was practiced all over the world. Nobody knew. Mm -hmm. And they made a program, an hour-long program that um, could kind of clarify these the, the facts about what's really happening, the truth about what's really happening. And they figured out a way to tap directly into the the nightly news uh, and basically hijack it for an hour and and play this video. And so they, they it was a really daring, daring thing to do at the risk of their own lives. And they did it uh, in Changshan City and Songyan City. And Liu Chenjun did it in Songyan City. And they reached over a million homes wow. by doing that. And people, uh, one of the per people that was involved got a call from his boss that night. And he said, you know, because he knew that this guy practiced Falun Gong. And he said, I didn't know. I'm so proud. Falun Gong is so great. I had no idea it was practiced in you know France in front of the Eiffel Tower, and they had all these clips, and so it really had a huge impact. 